Hello, I'm Paul Finley for Lone Star School of Music, one of the guitar instructors here, as well as bass guitar, tenor banjo, mandolin, and Native American flute. And I want to cover here a wonderful chord exercise. This will be uh, an early beginner level guitar chord exercise, switching the chords. Switching the chords is one of the hardest things when you're first learning. You can play the chords individually okay, you know, it takes a week or two, let's say. Switching though is one of the things that will slow you down. So the concept here is to have your fingers move as little as possible. All of these chords have a common fingering or two between them. So that means you don't have to lift as many fingers as you might think. Um, time equals distance. This is a great physics equation. And um, one you employ for simple things like this as well as the most advanced level kind of playing. You're trying to move as little as possible so you can move quicker. So for example here, this A minor chord to C. They look a lot different, but there's only one note that switches between the two. It's your third finger. And you notice my middle finger may shift a little bit, and that's okay. But that makes that change a lot easier once you get used to the C. The next chord in the exercise is D7. Your first finger is common between the C and the D7. So here's the C, then to D7. Next chord in the exercise, this is the last of the four, is to an E. There's no uh, fingers that are directly common between the two, but your first finger, for example, only has to scoot over by one string. You don't want to lift away and then back. That's a reflex that's easy to do at your, you know, within your first week or two of playing. And you're trying to minimize all of that. Now when we repeat the exercise, repeat is our friend for getting better. Is E to A minor is the same configuration. E then lifts directly to A minor. You don't want to take away anything. Just literally scoot everybody over by one string. So the strum pattern then for this exercise is going to be down, up, down, up, down, down. One and two and three, four. We're always going to do that pattern. It's a one measure pattern two times on every chord. So I'm going to set my metronome here at 68 beats per minute. And we're going to walk through the whole thing at this slow speed at first. Again, there'll be two measures on each chord. Down, up, down, up, down, down. And so on. So we'll start the click two, three, four. And we repeat. Now you notice my right hand does not stop. So if you make a mistake as you're playing, I want you to adjust the fingers as you're playing. Don't stop. Just keep pushing on through it. ending on A minor. Great. Now we're going to do it again a little bit faster. But again, I want to reiterate the concept of not stopping the right hand, if you're right-handed, to keep that strumming going. And adjust your left hand, if you're left or right-handed, uh, as you're playing. If your finger is off from the string it should be on, just keep the strumming going and adjust over here as you're moving along. So um, that's a great way to develop your rhythm. 
All right, so we're now we're going to go to 74 beats per minute and do the exact same thing again two times every chord. Two, three, four. And repeat. Right on into it. And we'll end on A minor. Wonderful. Thank you so much. This has been Paul Finley for Lone Star School of Music. And if you are interested in getting on my schedule or any of the other teachers that we have, please see the website. And that would be LoneStarSchoolOfMusic.com. And inquire from there. And thank you so much. We'll see you for more videos.